If you've been watching my kitchen vlogs for a while, especially recently, you know that I'm doing all I can to stay safe at home away from this coronavirus pandemic. And that includes not going to the store. So far, I've been staying out of the store, but I got one issue. You've often seen me drinking coffee, and you know I like my coffee. I like half and half in it, right? But this isn't going to last forever. And this is ultra pasteurized. The ultra pasteurized is usually good for like six to eight weeks, pasteurized two to three weeks. It still isn't going to last forever. So how can I have half and half in my coffee without using that non-dairy powdered creamer that they have at the coffee bar where you work if you work in an office you've seen that powder right how can i have sort of real half and half in my coffee well we're going to figure it out if you're not familiar with half and half this is something we have here in the usa maybe some other countries have it it's supposed to be half milk and half heavy cream or whipping cream and we like it in our coffee it's richer than using plain milk I ordered something that I'm hoping is going to be a replacement. Again, staying out of the stores. This should get plenty of dislikes. Two containers. This one's smaller because they didn't have the two pound box. They have the two pound box in this. Let's see, I'll throw that down there. I'm building up a lot of boxes down there. Okay, this is actually whole milk powder. This is Hoosier Hill Farms. It's supposed to be really milk. It's not that non-dairy creamer. It's, it's supposed to be real milk. And this is supposed to be real heavy cream powder. Again, not milk. And I'm going to have to open these seals. And I got to have a little taste. Just have to know what these are. I'm going to taste the milk first. Just a little bit on a spoon. Interesting flavor. Kind of sweet. Hmm. Creamier. Light cream. I'm going to put these lids on for the time being. First, however, I have to make some coffee. While I'm waiting for my water to heat up, I've got a little scale set up here with a jar. And this is set currently two grams. So zero, zero. I'm doing this by weight because these jars are packed by weight. So let's do 42, see if we can get to 50, 45 and a half, 46, 52.5, that's not bad, and then cream, see if I can get to 100, 85, 88, 92, 98, ever so little more, 99, <laughs> I'm not OCD, okay, 99 is going to be good enough, I'm not going to fuss with it any more than that, all right, put the lid on this, put the lids back on my plastic containers and then I'm just going to start rolling my jar here and seeing if I can get this mixed up and what is this this is going to be powdered half and half I don't even have to refrigerate this so here's my coffee I have a paper filter in there this is one of those cup top conical filters I don't need the paper filter, but I find that it makes the coffee a little bit cleaner. And I've got paper filters because I have a bunch of them. They're left over from back when I had a drip coffee maker. Speaking of drip, I'll let that drip. Meanwhile, I've been reading what's in these containers. They each have a 
ingredients thing and this just says one ingredient whole milk and this one says sweet cream solids there's no preservatives no whatever in there xanthan gum or whatever they put in products okay i hope i'm ready here i washed my spoon this is the one that i tasted with to make sure that that's mixed up I'm, it probably is I'm, i don't have to worry about it too much again i don't need to be ocd how much to put in a heaping teaspoon more less i'll know when that all dissolves Look at those things floating to the top. Are they going to break down? The other thing I can do is I can mix this with water and make liquid half and half. Put it in a little pitcher or a bottle, whatever. But that's going in. It's going in slowly, but it's going in. Okay. Let me keep, continue stirring that and see if I can get all that stirred in. Okay, a few on top, but I'm not going to worry about that. All right, let's see what that tastes like. All right, let's see if I've found a proper substitute for dairy half and half. And this is dairy, but it's dry dairy. It's hot, though, because, see, there was no cold liquid going in there from the refrigerator, so very carefully tastes like coffee it's actually pretty good Ooh, it's hot but I think I found a good substitute for my half and half so there it is, another experiment. This one worked out. I fail once in a while, but this one worked out pretty well. So, thanks for watching.